Italy's tourist attractions. Italy is the land of the most famous UNESCO registered works in the world. Unique historical elements can be seen throughout this beautiful vast country. The cities of Rome, Venice and Florence are known as the cradle of art and architecture. The Colosseum Amphitheater, which was the largest theater in ancient Rome. The medieval cities of Palmanova and San Gimignano, and the world's most famous Leaning Tower, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, are very famous. Crossing the Venice Maritime Street, which is actually the water canal in the middle of the city of Venice and where people travel by boat for their daily commute, will be your most interesting city tour. In addition to these attractions, the enchanting nature of Italy, despite lakes such as Lake Como, which is the third largest lake in Italy, or lakes located in the highlands. Magnificent mountains and beaches such as the Amalfi Coast with winding mountain roads, is attractive to every traveler. The island of Capri, or the island of Sardinia. The second largest island in the Mediterranean Sea, the Aeolian Islands with deep waters and fishing villages registered in UNESCO, the rare Tuscan valleys and pastures, and Mount Etna. The largest active volcano in Europe, are all a small part of Italy's attractions. Rome Colosseum. In the city of Rome, Italy, there is a theater called the Colosseum. The Colosseum has a capacity of between 50,000 and 80,000 people and was known as the largest theater in the Roman Empire. Nowadays, most of this theater is known for the bloody fight of gladiators. In fact, gladiators fought with each other or with wild animals and the spectators watched. Although most of these people were nobles, and some of the executions were done in the Colosseum. The construction plan of this building is oval and has a height of about 48 meters. The floor of the stage is made of wood and under it there are rooms that were used for the supplies and requirements of setting up the show or the passage of wild animals. 80 walls were built to support dome-shaped arches, stairs, passages, rosa seats, etc. It is possible to access the floors to each other from the outer edge of the arches and the stairs between the floors. When you look at the Colosseum from above, you will see its view in the form of three dome-shaped floors, and these domes are located on the columns or on the heads of the columns. The interior of this theater is executed in a different style on each floor, for example, the columns of the first floor were executed in the Doric architectural style. The second floor was executed in the Ionic architectural style, and the third floor was executed in the Corinthian style. There were 80 doors for the entry and exit of people, which made it easy for the crowd to move around, which is why the building of the Colosseum in Rome, Italy, is called one of the engineering masterpieces of the world. The attic floor is located above the three main floors, which has rectangular columns and between the columns there are 40 small windows. For the construction of this building, many combinations of materials are used, for example, concrete is used for the substructure, lime is used for the columns, and concrete bricks are used for the upper floors. Colosseum Auditorium in Rome, Italy, is one of the new seven wonders. Arch of Constantine If you are interested in the architectural art of the past, Italy will be the right destination for your travels with 54 historical and natural attractions registered in the UNESCO World Heritage List. Arch of Constantine is one of the popular places for tourists who travel to Italy. This arch, which was built by the Senate between 312 and 315 AD, is known as a symbol of the city of Rome and the largest arch in Italy. The Arch of Constantine, which is 21 meters high, is located between the Colosseum and the Palatine Hills and is a reminder of the ancient Roman era. The Senate presents the arch to Constantine I on the occasion of the king's victory in the Battle of Milovian. In the construction of the Arch of Constantine, they used stone as a material and decorated it with beautiful sculptures. 
Near the arch, there is another attraction called the Colosseum, which is unique in its kind. This theater with 80 entrance doors and 50,000 seats is one of the biggest amphitheaters of its time. They have chosen a suitable name for this amphitheater, so that Colosseum means a big place. St. Peter's Basilica in Rome St. Peter's Church, which is known as the Great Basilica in the Vatican, is one of several historical attractions in Italy that fascinates history and architecture enthusiasts with its magnificence. This church, which is also known as the Church of the Holy Elder and the Church of Peter the Apostle, belongs to the 4th century AD, which was built by the Order of Constantine the first artists such as Michelangelo. Bramante, Bernini and Moderno were involved in the design of the church. St. Peter's Church with an infrastructure of about 200,000 square meters is one of the four churches in Rome that has been renovated several times and the last renovation dates back to the 18th century. They started the construction of the current church in the 16th century and finished it in the 17th century. If you see the church area from above, it has the shape of a key, which is called the Key of Heaven. The statues of the apostles installed at the beginning of the entrance courtyard welcome you. When you go inside the church, you will see unique decorations, paintings and sculptures that add to the beauty of the complex. The sculptures of St. Peter's Church were made by the famous Italian sculptor Michelangelo and are a relic of the Renaissance. According to the narratives, Christians believe that St. Peter, one of the Apostles of Christ, was buried in this church. It is interesting to know that in a part of this church there is the eternal tomb of 91 Italian popes and the statue of Pietà, signed by Michelangelo is also kept in this church. If you are not afraid of narrow places, you can climb the 491 steps of the dome and see a different view from there. Near the church, a square called Street. Peter's Square stands out from a tall pyramid-shaped column with a height of 25 meters and has become a place for tourists to take pictures and rest.